Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Martial Art Fitness, and I just want to say this is that um, no matter what how life gets you, you always need to get up and do something productive. And that's what I'm saying, productive. Because when you know you look down and stuff, you know, after you lost your job, and um, but you know things are better, you know, that's how. We pick ourselves up, you know, we go work out, you know, we train, you know, to put ourselves in a better mood. And the thing of it is, is that in this video, I'm just kind of like working on bag work. Um, I've been doing a lot of boxing lately. I mean, boxing is my true style um, that I've always loved to do. I mean, because it's so easy, so complex, so... Um, easy to learn and master um, But when it comes to other martial arts, I mean, you know, you are getting older I mean, you don't have the flexibility as you get older um, To do a whole lot of things and So what I told myself, you know, if I get older, I'm still gonna work out But the only thing I'll probably stick to is boxing and my weapons that I train with um, But other than that, I mean Boxing is a good workout. It, to me, I think boxing is like the first martial art, really, um, for combat sport. Um, when it comes to other fighting arts, I mean, because back in the Roman time, they had gladiators, they boxed, they fought with swords, um, and everything. They had fencing art, um, basically, and stuff like that. Um, military combat training. Um, even, um, famous boxers like Mike Tyson and Amar Ali, I mean, Mike Tyson was a power puncher, Amar Ali was, speed was his hands, and, you know, that has some footwork, he was just too fast for everybody, and, um, but Muhammad Ali is the one I really look up to more than I did Mike Tyson, because Muhammad Ali, he, um, was one of my heroes and I would always watch videos on him. I would try to try to study him. Um, see what his secret is on speed. And the only thing I can think of is that he done a lot of shadow boxing and a lot of bad work. Um, and a lot of sparring mostly. But since you really don't have a whole lot of people to spar, you know, if you're training on your own. Um, the best thing to do is to keep at it every day, you know, and that way you know you're good on your skills, um, you know what to do, but somebody will try to attack you, you know, boxing is, um, the best martial art out there, because really technically it's a good stress reliever, um, same thing with karate, taekwondo, kickboxing, they're all good sports and everything, I said, but, um, I mean, I still haven't quit practicing them, but it's just sometimes I do still practice karate and I still practice taekwondo. Um, but there are days where I can't get outside and practice, and you don't have a whole lot of room. So what do you got to work with? You know, you got you can you can work with boxing, and that's the reason why I like boxing because boxing you can do anywhere you want. You don't need a big space to do it. You don't need um, a whole lot of room to do it. I said all you do is stand in one um, spot. You know, you stand in one spot doing it. Um, karate, Taekwondo, and all the mother arts, you know, they have to have room to be able to do it. So when I practice those arts, I go outside and, or I'll go down to the basement and train on the heavy bag for um, kickboxing and stuff like that, um, and other styles as well. I mean, I don't really just sit with one style. I mean, I try to learn multiple styles, um, but the one style that I am truly fond of is boxing because, um, I love boxing. I mean, I can watch any match of boxing and I know who the aggressor is. I know who the offensive is and, and I know who's going to win. And bossing, I can study everything on it. And 
And it's the same thing with Kratos. Karate is the same one, you know? They're they're both punching arts. But the thing with it is, Karate has um, wrist locks, they have throws, they have takedowns, they have um, kicking, sweeping. Um, but now nowadays, Karate is more of like... Um, more of like just a tap sport so it is actually going through the person and um, when punching and where it was back in the old days you know but the thing is, is that my, my uh, teacher was teaching me the old way of karate and a lot of people didn't like to spar me because I had punch, punching punch, punch, punching power like no other because nobody didn't like to spar with me and um and the reason why a lot of people, and I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even use like all my percentage and my power and my punch. I mean, I use half of it, and people still complain. And it was just like, I had like, they said I had like fists like that with the concrete brick thrown at me. And that's what they said. And I said, yeah, you'd be taking it easy, but you want to do like 400%. But your fists are like iron. And, and so that was a compliment from all the people that I sparred over the years. Even my last sparring partner that I had, he even said that. He said, you know, you do got good control. And I said, I noticed that, but your punches, man, they're brutal. <laughs> and that's what he told me. And I said, you know, it's all, all hitting bare, bare fisted, it's all hitting with gloves. Um, it's all doing like push-ups on them and, and stuff like that doing iron training, you know for It's a tough and a month and you know, I train in both worlds gloves or no gloves So it is what it is, you know, it's just you know training hard every day, you know you Develop a skill level, you know, you, you develop your own art, you know, you de develop your own arsenal Which you know your own craft and my craft is boxing and but I also do martial arts as well on the side and to me boxing is martial arts you know most people say it's not because um, oh they can't kick or oh they can't grab um, you'd be amazed um, nowadays you know since they have other styles out there available um, than just boxing a lot of boxers would go to other schools and learn different systems and besides just boxing you know one might go to a wrestling school and just learn some wrestling um, or um, one might go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school learn grappling to, to add in with his boxing um, but when it comes to um, or the boxer might pick up if he wants to learn how to kick to defend himself you know he might take up taekwondo or kickboxing so um or if he really wants a full-size competitor sport then, then he would probably go to karate or something like that um but no matter what you know boxers do know how other styles and you know you can't never underestimate your opponent when it comes to boxing um that's the number one rule in fighting you know you never want to underestimate your opponent you never you always want to be on the move and that's the way it is with your training you know you gotta be in always on the move no matter what you know you gotta take your training serious and and um you know, but most of all, I have fun doing it, you know. That's what I do in these videos, you know. I have fun doing it. I'm not doing it just to try to get famous. I'm not doing it to try to get rich. Um, yes, you know, you can get paid through YouTube. Um, if you keep doing your videos and, you know, you monetize your channel and stuff like that, you can get paid through YouTube and do it in videos. And um, that's the reason, the reason why I'm trying to get my videos up there, get my channel going. And I just want to say this, you know, for your new subscribers, you know, I appreciate you guys. You know, keep trying my, try all of my videos, you know, 
all my stuff works. I mean, I have no trouble with doing what I do in, in a fight, in a fight scenario. Um, but my way is the basic way of fighting, you know, nothing too fancy. And once in a while, I might add a fancy move or whatever. But um, I just try to keep it simple and direct, you know, and work with what I know. And that's what a true fighter is. He works with what he knows. And he sticks to what he does know. And um, you just make it plain and simple. And that's the thing. And um, that's what martial arts is about. And it's to be plain and simple and direct. And in which that's part of the tab, you know. And Bruce Lee said in the Tao book of Chicken Gut is that, you know, e button must be simplified, but put in what works for you. But get rid of what don't work for you. But to me, you know, these flying kicks, sometimes, you know, um, flying kick, a lot of people like the flashy stuff, but the flying kicks and stuff, you know, that's just for showmen, um, showman stuff, and um, a lot of people can't really do them in fights, um, on the street, but when it comes to, like, competition and stuff, yeah, they can do it in competition, but they wouldn't be able to they do it in real life, you know, because they know competition is sport, you know, if they can do it in real life, then, I mean, and then, then they know what they're doing, but me, it's like, um, I really don't like to use flashiness and stuff, I mean, I like to keep everything I do real, and, you know, that's another reason why, um, it's because, you know, I use, like, Krav Maga tactics, GQ and Do tactics, uh, and I use traditional martial art tactics. And you know the reason why martial arts is is the word martial arts is because martial means you're preparing yourself for war, and martial is. Um, Preparing for, for war. That's what martial arts means, is preparing for war. And the thing it is, you know, I'm not I'm not in war with anybody. But you never know when an assailant might come at you, you know, you never know when somebody would try to do something to you. You know, you always gotta be on your guard. So that's another reason why I train, and that's another reason why I do boxing, that's the reason why I do karate, that's the reason why I do uh, Taekwondo, kickboxing, you know, Krav Maga, um, even Wing Chun, I know a little bit of Wing Chun, I had a basic course, um, for about a month, and then, um, I learned everything out of it, and I still remembered it, off what I've been taught by an actual instructor, I, you know, whatever I learned for a month in a free, in a free course or something from the instructor, I still train on, I still train on the basics. And, you know, and I might borrow those basics and put it in my own arsenal into my own training, and then I just work on it. And then once I work on it, I, I get good at it. And that's the thing, you know. Um, practice makes perfect, even though nobody is perfect. And But if we were all perfect, this place would be a boring world. And that's what I always keep telling everybody. Always stay motivated to train. Always stay motivated to keep moving you know if you lost your job or whatever you know it's not the end of the world you know there's there are other jobs out there and you know i'm still keeping my head up i'm still keeping my um chin up and everything and you know i keep moving forward you know as mickey would tell rocky on rocky five you know uh, you didn't hear that bell ring so don't give up on life so that's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm train training my mind. That's my mindset is that I didn't hear that bell ring. So that's the thing, you know, you gotta motivate to do what you gotta do, you know. We just don't stay down. And that's all we're gonna do. So train hard, train smart, is said martial art fitness. And I'll see you in the next video.